Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this blonde bob. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I think it's cute, but it's just like, this is a new color for me. I've never been this like platinum before. But yeah, so I'm just gonna show you guys how I customized and styled this bob. Um, yeah, it's not much to it. I tell you guys where I got it from. I got it off of AliExpress. I believe it was like, $67 plus tax um, I ordered it last week on Friday and I got it in the mail today um, so yeah I'm just gonna show you guys how I styled this wig how I customized it it came pre-plugged so I didn't pluck it but I did bleach the knots and I um, washed it I blow dried it and I flat ironed it and then I just styled it so I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look so make sure you guys Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and keep sharing my channel and following at Face by Pay on Instagram. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So this hair is Monstar. I thought it was Monstar or Monster, but Monster Hair from AliExpress.com. I opened this up already, but it comes in this packaging. And I'll leave the specs in the description box. But it comes in this bag and also comes with um, like a nude two pieces with cap. So the bag, the hair comes in this bag. I believe I ordered 10 inches. Oh yeah, it's a bob wig, 10 inches of 613 hair. And this is what it looks like. This is a full lace wig. And mind you, this has not been, it's plucked. It comes pre-plucked, you can see that. But it hasn't been customized or anything like that. The quality is very, very soft. And it doesn't really have a smell at all. It just smells like weed off the pack, honestly. But it's very, I think it's pretty full. Um, it is plucked into, I don't know if you can tell, but look. It's plucked already into a middle part. But I'm going to wear it as a side part. Because I don't want to look like lower far flat. But, um, yeah, so this is what the hair looks like. So first I'll be taking this BW2 Professional Lightener. And this is just a powder. It comes in a bag and with a blue scooper. And I'm just taking a scooper full and sifting it so that most of the product at the top comes off and I'm pouring it into the black mixing bowl. And with this process, you're kind of just eyeballing. So I'm taking this 30 volume developer and I'm gonna pour some and mix it. And you just kind of eyeball it and make sure you have a good ratio so it's creamy but not too soupy so that it doesn't bleach the hair when it goes through the lace. And then I'm just taking this brush to mix it all in some fell out but um just gonna mix it all in and make it a good consistency because like I said you don't want it to be too liquidy where it goes through the lace and then bleaches and messes up your hair and at this point I'm just gonna keep mixing it and mixing it until I get the consistency and the texture that I want So here I'm just showing you guys the texture that I achieved. It's really creamy and thick. And then I'm just going to take the wig and you'll see in the next few clips that I am going to use the brush to evenly apply the bleach and the developer all over the lace wig. Um, just the lace part of the wig so that I can bleach the knots. And you can see here, this is how the lace looked after I completely covered it with the bleach. And now I'm going to set a timer for about 15 minutes and 30 seconds so that the developer and the bleach can take the time to lighten the knots of the lace. 
At this point, the lace has been washed from all the bleach and developer, and then I just went ahead and washed the whole entire wig to just make it, you know, clean, obviously. And I'm going to take a wide tooth comb and just comb out the tangles and the knots from the hair. Then I went ahead and got a brush so that I could just brush out all the rest of the tangle so it's a lot easier to blow dry. And here you can see I had to reposition the wig so that I could dry the hair a little bit easier, but I'm just brushing using the blow dryer to make it as straight as possible and as dry as possible. And I'm gonna speed through this clip, but yeah, I just finished blow drying and next step. So here you can see me with my wig cap on. I'm gonna take the Got To Be Glued Freeze Blasting Spray and you can see I got some in my eye. But I'm just gonna spray my hairline and like the top of my forehead. I was really struggling with this spray. It's very strong, like it has a very strong smell. And it was kind of burning my eyes a little bit. But yeah, I'm just spraying my forehead and trying to get, you know, it to be glued and even as possible from ear to ear. And just excuse my faces during this process. I was really actually having a hard time. But I'm going to take my blow dryer so I can dry that glue so it sticks to my hair and my forehead. This is a process I've learned from YouTube and my hairstylist to cut over the ear before you cut like right underneath it. So just cut a little hole in the middle where your ear is on both sides. And then you'll just cut around it so that your wig cap can lay as flat as possible so your scalp looks more real in the end. And here I'm just gonna put the wig on to make sure everything fits and looks right before I actually glue it down. And now I'm just taking some scissors and cutting around my ear so that my sideburns and my edges and all of that looks real nice. And then now I'm just going to go ahead and cut that lace and cut as close to my hairline as possible so that my wig hairline looks real and it's not like in the middle of my forehead so I don't look crazy. But you know, I just cut around. You have to be really careful with this because you don't want to, you know, mess up obviously. But just cutting around, cutting behind my ear. I'll probably leave that little flap on in the back because it's not that big of a deal. But just cutting around as close to my hairline as I said. So next I'm going to be taking my ghost bond glue and basically what I'm going to do is in the most even layer possible put that on my hairline from ear to ear and this is what I'm using to glue the rest of my wig cap down to my actual skin and what I'll use to glue my wig down onto the wig cap. And now I'm taking my Got To Be Glue gel, and I'm also gonna put this on the perimeter, and it's just extra protection. You really don't need it because the Ghost Bond is great glue, like it works very, very well. But I just like to have the extra protection in the middle so my wig doesn't blow off in the wind. And once again, we're gonna speed through this part a little bit, but I'm just putting the wig on now, and this is where I'll officially be gluing it down. I'm going to be using a comb to help lay down the perimeter of it, and the glue still has to dry a little bit more because I did not blow dry it yet. I'm going to blow dry it once it is on my actual head, as you'll see in a minute, but I'm just using the comb to press down the glue a little bit. The glue was clearly still white, so next time I'll probably just blow dry it first so it gets a little bit tackier before I actually glue it down. But yeah, so I'm just using the comb to press it down and then I'm gonna use a blow dryer to dry it. 
and now I'm just taking the scissors and cutting that excess lace off of the wig and I'm just gonna cut as close to the hairline as possible and then just keep using that comb to make it lay flat and here I'm just blow drying the wig like I said and blow drying that glue so it dries so after I let it blow dry I just put some styling foam that I got from beauty supply store on the hairline just to help with my edges and now I am just flat ironing it and seeing how it looks I did my middle part so I was just flat ironing it and trying to get it as straight as possible and honestly at this point I really did not like it but after I played around with it a little bit more I and I took my pictures you know I had to take my pictures I did actually like the way the wig turned out so I actually forgot to record an outro on accident, but I just included some boomerangs and pictures of how I wore this wig, you know, an everyday lifestyle. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and follow at Face My Pay on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.